are going to discuss about the attachments and relations of the first cervical vertebra, that is the atlas. The anterior tubercle, it provides attachment to the anterior longitudinal ligament and also provides insertion on each side to the upper oblique part of the longus coli. The upper border of the anterior arc, this is the upper border of the anterior arc, it gives attachment to the anterior occipital membrane. The anterior occipital membrane is attached to the upper border of the anterior arc. The lower border of the anterior arc, it gives attachment to the lateral fibers of the anterior longitudinal ligament. This is the posterior tubercle. The posterior tubercle, it provides attachment to ligamentum nuci or nuce as you would like to call it. So ligamentum nuci is attached to the posterior tubercle in the median plane and also it gives origin to rectus capitis posterior minor on each side. It gives rise to the rectus capitis posterior on each side. The groove on the upper surface, this is the groove on the upper surface behind the lateral mass. The groove here, as you can see, this is occupied by the vertebral artery and by the first cervical nerve. The first cervical nerve, it passes from this groove. Behind the groove, the upper border of the posterior arc, it gives attachment to the posterior atlanto-occipital membrane. The lower border of the posterior arc, it gives attachment to the highest pair of ligamentum flava. So ligamentum flava, it originates from the lower border of the posterior arc of atlas. The tubercle on the medial side of the lateral mass, these are the tubercles on the medial side of the lateral mass. It provides attachment or they give origin to the transverse ligament of atlas. To the transverse ligament of the atlas. The anterior surface of the lateral mass. This is the anterior surface of the lateral mass. The anterior surface of the lateral mass. It gives origin to rectus capitis anterior to rectus capitis anterior. The transverse process, it gives origin to the rectus capitis lateralis from its upper surface anteriorly. This is the upper surface anteriorly of the lateral mass. So this surface, it gives rise to rectus capitis lateralis. The superior oblique from its upper surface posteriorly. This is the posterior surface of the transverse process and it gives rise to the superior oblique. The inferior oblique from its lower surface of the tip. This is the tip of the transverse process and it gives rise to the inferior oblique. The levator scapulae from its lateral margin. This is the lateral margin and it gives rise to levator scapulae and the lower border the spillaneous services and the scalaneous medius from the posterior tubercle of the transverse process. This is the posterior tubercle of the transverse process right here and this to posterior tubercle it gives rise to spillaneous services and scalaneous medius.